हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक साइंस फॉर जस्टिस स्टूडेंट ग्रुप हेयर आई एम मुस्कान सिंगल वॉलेंटियर ऑफ अप्लाइड फॉरेंसिक साइंस फॉर जस्टिस स्टूडेंट ग्रुप टू टॉक अबाउट फॉरेंसिक ग्राफोलॉजी we will discuss a brief introduction of forensic graphology history methodologies and strategies so what forensic graphology is actually is forensic graphology is a study of handwriting it has unique meaning and has many things for the study graphology focuses on various strokes and their relation to personality of an individual forensic investigators use handwriting pattern and technology to determine personality traits of an individual in different agencies use of graphology is done for checking application for jobs requirement procedures compatibility for marriage career guidance motivates different employers for child behavior and development it helps investigation by determining the psychological state of the writer identifying the writer as well as helping in criminal profiling the various feature of handwriting such as spacing margins pen pressure size of the letter and many more are discussed in this report as well as their significance in describing various behavioral aspect of the person Yes, forensic graphology cannot tell person's age from the handwriting. What it indicates is that person's state of mind at the time of producing a particular document, be it a blackmailing letter, a poison pen letter or a suicide note. A graphologist look for insight into some of the following: mood, motivation, integrity, trusting level and state of mind. A graphologist will examine an individual's handwriting for signs of some of the listed and there may be other factors that interest them as well depending on the reasoning behind their involvement in particular investigation during the course of investigation a graphologist will call upon to offer advice as how the individual was feeling at the time of writing their document and how they wrote the document history the analysis of handwriting has been studied for almost 400 years in 1622 the first person that carried out systematic and particular observation on the way of handwriting was camillo balti he published the book named treated how by the latter mr van recognizes the writer's nature and qualities which is considered the first known graphological essay in the world In 1897 the term graphology was coined by A. Jean Hippolyte Paris by combining two Greek words graph in which means to write and logos which means science He was founder of the Society of Graphology and the first person to give scientific grounds of the handwriting analysis Methodologies Basically there are two ways to carry out handwriting analysis first manually and second computer as the name suggests manually it means by men by us own the graphology on handwriting analysis through manual way is done by the graphologist in which he or she analyzes a given handwriting by using the various tools such as magnifying glass and observe the various features of handwriting and then determine the personality of the writer on the basis of these features Manual analysis relies on the knowledge and observation of the graphologist. After the handwriting sample is obtained, the graphologist look at the various handwriting features and try to identify them to analyze the writer's personality. Few of the imparted features are as follows. So the first feature we will discuss is word spacing. See the picture below. the lazy the lazy and the lazy the lazy is written in three different ways with different spaces between them the space indicates how much we are attached to the people if there is a white space found between the words then the writer usually avoids crowd and it's comfortable in spending some alone time 
If there is narrow space found between the walls, then the writer may be interested and usually found to be enjoying in the crowd. Second feature we will discuss is line spacing. See the picture below. A left one indicates a narrow space. A narrow space lines in their handwriting are usually narrow minded person and are used to react when close to the action. And the picture on the right indicates a wide space between the two lines. It indicates an open minded person and have an attitude to take a stand back. Third feature we will discuss is page margin. The left margin indicates towards the root or family. It means that we are close to the roots, we are close to our family. Our right margin indicates towards the other people in personal life as well as future. It means that we are very much interested in someone's personal life. The top of the page indicates towards the goal and ambitions, which means we are highly motivated, we are highly determined towards our goals. The foot of the page indicates towards the energy, practical approach as well insects of the person. Fourth feature that we will be discussing is alignment. The alignment of handwriting can be better judged when the writing samples are taken on a blank sheet of paper. Upward alignment. In this case, the handwriting is found to be in the upward direction as compared to the imaginary page line. It usually indicates that the writer is optimistic. Also, it could be found if the person is excited or happy while writing. Downward alignment. It implies in this case the handwriting is found to be in the downward direction as compared to the imaginary place baseline. It usually indicates that the writer is pessimistic. Also, it could be found if the person was emotional or upset while writing. Straight alignment. In this case, the writing is found to be straight and somewhat parallel to the imaginary baseline. It usually indicates that the writer like discipline or the organized person. Fifth feature that we will be discuss is pen pressure. Some people write with heavy pressure and those are usually found to be slow writers. It has been seen in many cases that illiterates write the heavy pressure. Also the persons who are very emotional are tending to write with heavy pressure. Mostly people write with moderate pressure having fewer indications. The person who writes in this way are tend to be balanced emotionally. Some people are used to write very lightly with smooth and uniform thickness and rhythmic writing. They are used to have empathy to people and are sensitive. However, uneven pressure indicates lack of vitality. Sixth feature that we will be discussing is size of letters. Large size of handwriting indicates toward the extra word as well as confident behavior of the person. Small size of handwriting indicates towards the introvert as well as academic behavior of the person. If the handwriting is small and delicate, then the person may be comfortable only to those who are known or who are similar to him. Computer based analysis. There are softwares that can help the graphologist to do the analysis more efficiently and in error free manner. Computer aided graphology CAG system is one of the system which enables the graphologist to take advantage of computer in order to achieve faster and error free analysis of handwriting and to obtain the personality description of the writers on the basis of analysis steps for CAG are as first scanning it involves scanning of the handwriting sample second processing of the image it involves cropping of the image in order to remove extra pixels and changing the rgb image that is red blue green image to grayscale image after processing step a binary image is obtained which is then used for future extraction third feature extraction in this step the image is subjected to segmentation and each segment is studies to extract the various feature of the handwriting such as slant, direction, offline spacing, etc. 
Last point is analyzing the feature. In this step, the extracted feature are subjected to interpretation. For this step, context-free grammar is implemented in CAG system in order to apply graphology rules. A context-free grammar is nothing but a set of some rules, recursive rewriting, which is used in order to create patterns of strings. Now we will discuss some of the strategies that graphologists use in their handwriting analysis. So first we will discuss about the letter I. Case 1 Backward Stroke See the figure alongside, there is a backward stroke in the letter I. The people who write in this way, it indicates their aggressiveness and he or she is a competitor in sports. Case 2 Hollow Circle See the figure alongside. The people who write like this indicates their childish behavior, stubborn, good at imagination, and smiles and laughs a lot. Case 3. Dot close to the stem. See the figure alongside. If the person writes in this way, is that he or she pays more attention to the details. Case 4. Dislocated dot. If the dot is not at the proper place or it is hyphen-like, it indicates uncalm, hurry, aggressive, and low confidence of the person. Case fifth and last case, dot so high. It, in it indicates a daydreamer or a creative personality of the writer. Now we will discuss about letter T. First case, long T bar. That is, a T bar is quite extended towards right and left. It in indicates a person is energetic, it, he or she has a lot of enthusiasm, ambitious and is bold. Case 2 T bar in a concave shape See the figure alongside. A person who writes T bar in this way, it in indicates self-control, tied to learn new things. Case 3 Loop in T That is there are a hollow loop in a T, which indicates bigger the loop, more the sensitive person is. Case 4. Low T bar. It indicates low self-esteem, confidence, have lots of fear, have set goals below. Case 5. High T bar. It indicates strong willpower, high goals and courageous. Case 6. T bar shifted to right hand side. It indicates irritated by their emotion and future focused. Case 7. Down V is formed. See the figure alongside. A V is formed a down. It indicates does not accept his or her mistake. Take time to start new things. Case 8. T bar shifted to left side. It indicates lazy and lives in past. That is past memory affecting his or her future a lot. Now letter L. Letter L has only two cases, no loops or bigger the loops. Case 1, no loops. A no loop people indicates hopelessness, not pushing yourself to do the things which are necessary for the future. Case 2, bigger loop. How much the loop is bigger, we are hopeful about the future and we are focused and we are dreaming the big dreams. Now letter M. Case 1. Crossword M. A person who writes the M as a crossword, see the figure alongside. It indicates they are indulged in fights. Case 2. Pointed M. If the tip of the M is pointed, see the figure alongside. It indicates understand the family and friends and build strong bonds. Case 3. First hump of the arm is bigger. It indicates sensitive and helping nature of the person. Case 4. Second hump is bigger. It indicates anxiety, fearful and worriedness of the writer. Now we will discuss letter Y. Case 1. No loop is formed in letter Y. See the figure alongside. It indicates anti-social behavior of the person and the trust issues. Case 2. Half or incomplete loop. 
it indicates half physical frustration exercise sexual activities and confused in his personalities case 3 complete value it indicates a person trust everyone case 4 line of returning and the baseline it is the most rare situation that we notice if the line of returning is lower than the baseline then you have success fear case 5 distance lower the distance more the person is selective in making friends and more the person is select self centered so i hope you are very much clear about forensic graphology thank you for listening from applied forensic science for justice student group